now let's find the determinant of order 4 um, so 4 means 4 by 4 matrix so remember one thing we can find out the determinants of only square matrices if a matrix is not of type square which means if it is not of n by n if it is something rectangular like n by m we cannot find out the value of the determinant okay so we can find out the value of the determinants of the matrices of only square matrices so here i am giving you just the example of 4 by 4 matrix and you can generalize it to any matrices of any size as long as it is square right so you can take any row or any column and expand the determinant over that row or that column right so let's say how to let's see how to take the uh, find the determinant across the first row so you can do it this way now determinant is going to be a11 into cofactor of a11 right so what will be cofactor of a11 is you have to remove this row this column and this row and whatever is remaining this entire uh, elements you have to find the determinant of this and then you have to multiply with minus 1 power 1 plus 1 because the index of this one is 1 plus 1 right and we know th that this is again uh, a determinant of order 3 and you know how to find out the determinant of order 3 so that is the problem with uh, you know uh, 4 by 4 determinants the reason is you in order to find out the 4 by 4 determinants for every element you have to find out the cofactor right and in order to find out the cofactor you have to find out again the determinants of 3 by 3 it is going to be very big right but for some matrices it is going to be easy and let's see using some properties how to convert this transform this matrix in such a way that you know computing it is easy i'll tell you that later but for now just focus on how to find out the uh, determinant of this uh, see take each element you know you consider a row take each element and then multiply with the cofactor and then add them up a11 into cofactor of a11 plus a12 into cofactor of a12 plus a13 into cofactor of a13 plus a14 into cofactor of a14 right so this entire thing is going to be the determinant of this order 4 you need not expand this always across the first row you could even do it across the first column it depends on now uh, which way you feel comfortable in it depends on which way it is easier right so let's see this example you'll understand it much better this is uh, this is the matrix of order 4 right and now we are supposed to find out the determinant of this which means it is again the determinant of order 4 now if you observe the elements the the matrix has a property it is a low in it is a upper triangular lower triangular matrix right <coughs> i think it is upper triangular matrix yes the elements below the uh, di principal diagonal are zeros right therefore it is upper triangular matrix now you can expand the determinant across any of the uh, you know uh, rows or columns but if you observe it it is better that you expand it either across the first column right or across the last row i think you understood why i am taking this the reason is if i expand it across the first column most of the elements in the first column are zeros therefore when i multiply an element with its corresponding cofactor anyway the total product is going to be zero therefore i'll, I'll not end up finding the cofactors of all these elements therefore the the pain of finding the cofactor of all these elements is eliminated so you can directly go and find the cofactor of just this element and it is going to be easy right and the similar in a similar way you can even do the, do for the last row if you do for the last row then there is no need to find the cofactors of all these elements only one cofactor is needed right so as you wish either we can go using the first column or the last row let me go with the first column you do it with the last row we are supposed to get the same answer either your method or my method we are going to get the same answer you do it with the last row now if i take the first column and expand it okay i have to take the element a11 and multiply this element right with the cofactor of the corresponding element which means a and since the index of this element is 1 1 right because it is first row and first column since the index is 1 1 i am going to get minus 1 power 1 plus 1 right and now you are supposed to multiply it with the corresponding uh, minor 
so what is the minor of this i have already multiplied with minus that is why i am taking the minor right so you remove the row and you remove the column and you take the remaining element matrices right so what is this b c e 0 d k 0 0 l right and now if you observe it it is again a determinant of order 3 and you can again expand this determinant i use in across any row and any column so it is better that you go with the expansion across the first first column again or you can take over the last row also so let me go across the first column then what do i get a into minus 1 power 1 plus 1 it is going to be plus 1 therefore i am just not writing it okay and now the determinant of this matrix is nothing but b multiplied with the cofactor of this so b into minus 1 power 1 plus 1 into determinant of you remove this row and this column it is going to be d k 0 l right and now this is this is clear it is it is a determinant of order 2 and you know how to find it out determinant so I take the uh, principal diagonal element product them and then subtract across this then what do we get a into b into minus 1 power 1 plus 1 is nothing but plus 1 then it is going to be d into l a b d l this is the determinant value um so there is there are few things that you had to notice here this particular matrix it is called as a upper triangular matrix because all the elements below the uh, uh, principal diagonal are zero so either if the matrix is upper triangular matrix or lower triangular matrix or if it is diagonal matrix i think you you remember what a diagonal matrix is right diagonal matrix is uh, the one in which only principal diagonal elements will be Uh, other than sorry elements all the elements other than the principal diagonal elements will be zeros if you have all zeros here and all zeros here it is called diagonal matrix and if you have all zeros here uh, then it is called upper triangular matrix if you have all zeros here then it is called lower triangular matrix therefore either if it is an upper triangular matrix or a lower triangular matrix or a diagonal matrix then the uh, value of the determinant is always equal to the product of the principal diagonal elements therefore in this case if you observe it the product of the principal diagonal elements are a b d l right a b d l so it is very easy and convenient to transform a determinant into either a upper triangular matrix or a lower triangular matrix and then find out the value of the determinant okay i'll don't worry i'll show you what it is if you understood this it is fine okay so remember this point maybe note it down the value of a upper triangular matrix or lower triangular matrix or diagonal matrix or any matrix which which has uh, all the elements uh, zeros either above the principal diagonal or lower uh, below the principal diagonal and in fact you have one one special matrix which is called as identity matrix identity matrix is one in which we have all the elements across the principal diagonals are ones and all the elements above it and below it are zeros it is identity matrix right so in all these cases the uh, always we get that the value of the determinant is equal to the product of the principal diagonal elements okay fine